having your dad in the industry because it, it you made quite a conscious effort to move away from his name and build one for yourself because yeah. he's well known in the industry. Yeah. Did you how come you because you are good at your craft anyway? How come you felt that need to move away from him and just be you? I think um, I don't know. I think I wasn't sure if I was very good, and I and I had a lot to learn, and I didn't want to be getting work just on the fact that I was John Bannister's daughter or, oh, you know, um, I didn't want anyone to think that there was nepotism involved any, anywhere along the line and I was sort of like any teenager and I guess wanting to just be my own person anyway. Mm -hmm. And so I just, um, I think I was conscious about forging my own career because I was wanting to be independent anyway as a person, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, not just in my career, but in, you know, in the rest of my life as well. And so yeah. I think that was part of it. And, and I used to be, not embarrassed, but if anyone ever said to me, oh, is your dad John? I go, oh, yeah, you know. And then and now I'm like, yes, isn't yeah. he amazing? He's the most incredible yeah. man, like, you know. Yeah. So, you so what's the relationship like with your dad? Oh, I've always had a really close relationship with dad because I grew up with my father. I lived with my dad. My parents separated when I was four and I, I lived with my father with my two brothers. And... Um, I mean, you know, I say close, you know, he's British, so yeah, <laughs> there was always, um, you know, uh, a level of um, yeah. good, good on you. The and he's, yeah. As he's got older, as he's, as, I mean, he's not old, but as he's growing older, he's, um, he's much more open with his emotions. Yeah. And, um, I think that happens to men, though. That's it really does. When we yeah. were younger. Like I remember we'd hug him and stuff, but now he's really quite emotional. And yeah. Like, Whoa, where has this come from? Yeah. I, I mean, I remember at my 21st saying to my stepmom at the time, oh, you know, do you, think, do you think I should be an actor? Do you think Dad thinks I'm good enough to be an actor? Because mm -hmm. his opinion's always been the one that counts. Yeah. And, um, and she's like, yeah, yeah. And I, I asked him, I said, do you think I should be an actor? Am I, have, am I any good or am I just not very good and just is this a pipe dream? And he said, oh, I think you should go for it. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, little things like, like, you know, milestones for me along the way, I, I was just constantly seeking his approval and, yeah. and um, yeah, I just, I remember telling his wife one, one day, oh, I just, you know, I just wish he'd tell me, I know he's proud and I know he loves me, but he never mm. says that to me, you know, and he, and then two days later, I got a phone call, oh, yeah. yep, <clears throat> just, you know, very proud of you and I love you a lot. And I was That's like, thanks, beautiful. Dad. And then I said yeah. to his wife, thanks for getting yeah. him to call me, you know. So he would have just been feeling that but not have known of how course, to it. Of course. And I knew he felt that. It wasn't that I didn't feel it from him. Yeah. I just, you know, you gotta hear you it. Gotta hear it. Yeah, and and totally. and he's so good now, you know, he'll you know, I used to ring him and go, I love you, Dad. He'd go, Yep, yep, and I go, I love you and he'd go, yeah. I love you too. Oh. And now he'd go, oh, I love you, you know, have a great day and he's yeah. It's a beautiful thing about men, I think, as yeah. as they as they move into their older years, this, this really? softening.